welcome to Katatsu Corner. We are going to be classy today and talk about art appreciation. Not appreciation, art appreciation. Art is a way for people to express themselves in a way that they couldn't normally. Pictures, even just a still life of a bunch of fruit and a dead pheasant, is actually a symbol for something. Maybe the artist is trying to get to a broad audience of people to say, hey, this pheasant is representative of our society. See how it's dead? And surrounded by a bunch of vegetables? The vegetables are you. Let's say you're in the museum. And you don't know what the artist is in there with you. You don't want to insult the artist, right? So you want to keep an open mind whenever you're looking at any piece of art. Take on an attitude of genuine interest in whatever it is you're looking at. Whatever piece it is that the artist created is built to speak to you. You don't want to walk in and go, eh, modern, post-impressionist, I don't like those. I'm just gonna walk on. Take your time. Look at all the pieces. There may be one there that surprises you. Now let's say you're looking at a piece of art and you just don't get it. Okay, here are the steps. Number one, look for symbolism. Remember the pheasant? Remember the pheasant. It doesn't have to be a pheasant. There usually isn't a pheasant in every piece of art. Actually, it's a pretty small niche market of pheasant-related things. I guess that means that there must not be that many pheasants around. I've only ever seen one pheasant, and it was dead. Pheasants in art. Why is it that most of them are dead? Do people just hate pheasants? Damn, pheasants. I'm gonna hate them so much, I'm gonna put a picture of one right on my wall. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hate you. But symbolism can be found in other ways, non-pheasant related ways. Maybe the distance between these two things in the picture means the something. Maybe this represents the duality of man. A lot of things do in art. You've tried to find symbolism. There doesn't appear to be any that you can discern. And you're about to get ready to move on now. Because you're bored of looking at this pheasant. Stop right there. Find one thing that you enjoy looking at in the picture. Lighting. Shading something, anything, and then just consider it from that point of view. Hmm. I may not understand, but I do like the way those two colors are together. None of these things has worked. That's the scenario you're supposed to imagine yourself in. None of them worked. You don't like the color, you don't like the shading, nothing. You have only one option left to you. Just stare at it for a while. People around you will think you're deep. On the inside, you'll actually just be going... I hate this painting. On the outside, you'll just sit there, considering. The main thing, though, with staring at art is that, eventually, you'll get it. You will just figure it out. Something will click. You'll look at the painting, or a sculpture, or ironwork, or metalwork, whatever it is, and then suddenly you'll go... Oh, okay. The pheasant is the duality of man. If you see a piece of art that is beautiful enough, you can faint. I learned that this week on Facebook. An additional step you can take before even going to look at art is... This is, this is drawing. Draw something. That's what you should do. You should try to paint something or sculpt something. Any of these types of things. Just maybe sketch out what it is you'd like to create. In this way... In this way, you'll be able to connect with the actual artist. You'll understand how difficult it would be to create whatever piece of art it is that they created. Which is kind of cool, because it's like you're the artist whisperer from 
you know, they're probably dead, because most, most of the ones, they're, a lot of them are dead. A lot of them are dead. Something I do, because I'm kind of an art nerd, is I try to figure out what angle it was originally lit from while the artist was making it. You can tell if there are shadows on the piece that don't make any sense there, that it was originally lit from a different direction. You will need to use these tricks when looking at modern art. I personally appreciate modern art. I think it's very interesting. I think it's very symbolic. However, not everyone is going to do so. Most of you are going to look at modern art and go, Why is it just a bunch of boxes on canvas? What is this supposed to... What is... What? That is totally fine. Not everyone has to get every kind of art. But if you want to get every kind of art, just do it like we said. Just stare at it. Modern art is definite, just stare at it. Territory. Maybe you'll get it, maybe you won't. Either way, you will have appreciated art. So whatever your tastes are with art, just explore. Experiment a little bit around. See what it is that you really want. And if you want, you can expand on that concept. Let yourself try new things wherever you go. A new experience is just one more thing to add to the number of things that you've done in your life full of things. Things! Alright, have a wonderful weekend. Try to do something super classy and artsy with your time. Alright, bye ladies and gentlemen. doesn't bode well if you have to use white collar to find out the name of an artist.